We're going to swim in the Potomac River. Right. Make the face that people make to you when you tell them you're swimming in the Potomac River. It's a beautiful midsummer day here in the nation's capital. We're actually at National Harbor in Prince George's County, right along the Potomac River, because we're going to show you something pretty cool. This is Dennis Cream. He's the founder of Wave One, an open water swimming group. When you tell people that you take groups out onto the Potomac River to do open water swimming, what's the reaction you get from people? Uh, we get a ver various reactions from, wow, that's great, to, ew, that's the Potomac. Make the face that people make to you when you tell them you're swimming in the Potomac River. They think you're crazy, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> they like, they like, are you gonna swim with like dead bodies and like they treat it like New York uh, River up there, but yeah, it's it's safe to swim here now. Like I know there was a big thing before that it wasn't as safe, but it's clean now and it, it's fun swimming. Yeah. Why does the river have that you know perception, and then what do you do to tackle that? Yeah, I, I think it's something that came out of the '60s and '70s when there was no regulation and what you know people could dump in it. Uh, and, and the health went down, but it's been climbing back to really a very healthy river. Like I said, we've been in it 12 years and uh, incident free, having fun, uh, and it's just, it's beautiful. So we're here with Tom, who we actually want to talk to about your shorts. Um, pretty much the shortest I've ever seen. Yes. So congratulations I'm about known that. For, I'm known for that. Yeah. Talk to me about the group dynamic when you have a swim so, out here. Yeah, so this is a non-competitive, really friendly group. People are here to support each other and to teach each other as much as they can because open water is not like pool swimming. It's not like anything you've ever experienced. So we found a first timer. Ryan, you're going to be swimming in the Potomac open water for the first time tonight. Do you, do you have any anxiety going into that? Uh, quite a bit, yeah. Uh, I've so this interview helps? It's helping a lot, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's making me a lot less nervous. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> It'd be really bad if I went out there and drowned. So that, hopefully that doesn't happen. And there's nothing to worry about out there. There's nothing that's gonna take a bite out of you. There's no, no jaws, it's no. not Florida, there's no gators. No, no gators, no jaws. Uh, in the Potomac, dead fish, every once in a while, logs and branches. Um, really if that's the else. worst thing, then that is. this is a great body of water to swim in. I wish DC would understand this. More connected to nature and like it's so much more fun. So I, I definitely prefer open water swim. So this is catching on. It's growing. It's growing. Well, let's get out there. Let's get after it. All right. <laughs> All right. Jump in. All right. We're hey everybody. We're uh, just finishing setting up the course. The boat's pulling out. So it looks like we can swim. I want you to think of three different details that as you get in and as you swim that you want to remember for Sunday and or your next race. We're just gonna, we're gonna make it happen. Brought my swim cap, got my Maryland suit. We're ready to go. I gotta tell you, the Potomac River actually tastes great. It's not bad out here. So we're going to do about 500 meters. Should take about 10 minutes. Let's see how it goes. To know that we have such a, a beautiful resource that has a lot of history and is full of awe, um, to be able to get more people in to enjoy that, participate, and experience it, uh, it, it makes all the work worthwhile. Right. I understand that there are a lot of questions. Yeah, there are a lot of questions. <laughs> First of all, touche. I admire your dedication to the cause by getting into the Potomac. Now, all jokes aside, we had a lot of jokes in the beginning. Yeah. I wouldn't want to swim in the Potomac just because of how people talk and think about swimming in the Potomac. Yeah. But I never really understood why it has that reputation. I right. get why in New York City, for instance, where I used to live, I get why you don't want to get in that water. Mm. But the Potomac, why, why does it got such bad PR? Yeah, it's, it's got a very bad stigma. And for the people who say it's not safe to swim in the Potomac, I mean, it's the same kind of people who are saying the election was rigged. This is information that you're putting out in the universe without having any factual basis behind it yeah. at all, right? They do frequent testing there, right? One of the big concerns is stormwater runoff. So if they had, a, if we had a big rain here today and they had a swim scheduled for tomorrow, they would cancel that swim, right? Because of all the stormwater runoff, it's going to stir things up. It's going to add pollutants to the water. They know this. There are also two different testing spots. One's at the Roosevelt Street Bridge. One's at the 11th Street Bridge on the Anacostia, the DOEE, the Department of Energy and Environment.
environment for DC. They uh, put together all of that information. It's right on their website. So you can go and see literally the quality of the water. Wow. Now, you can't just hop in the Potomac anywhere. You can't just go up off Ohio Drive Southwest, right by the Lincoln Memorial, and just dive right in. Because swimming is still not allowed. So Wave 1 and Dennis, groups uh, like that, they, they get permits to be able to go out there and swim. Okay, so why... So the reason why it's not allowed is more to prevent yo-yos from jumping off of Ohio. It's more Ohio. of a safety thing. Got you. Okay. Yes, exactly. It's not the actual quality of the water. Yeah. Fascinating. So what volume are we talking about? How many people swim in the Potomac, let's say, a season? Right. So on a season, I guess you'd have to do a little bit of math because the same people that show up every week. When we came out on that Thursday night, it was about 40 people. And then they have these, these races and events. They have them on Sunday mornings. Tom's actually, or rather Dennis, is actually a swim coach. So anyone who's not comfortable in open water can sign up with him, get some coaching. It's a great thing to to do because it's unlike the pool you just feel a lot more free now you don't have the safety you don't can't just go over here and like you're done right but it's really something that that people should take on mm -hmm. uh, it's really fun I've been open water swimming since 2009 I learned in Florida where you didn't have to worry about the water quality as much as you had to learn about alligators that's yeah. what you had to worry about so you had me at free yeah. so I'm in <laughs> okay listen um, if you know uh, cool people doing cool things in our area, I want you to reach out to me with the story. Hit me up at uh, email alongowsn9.com or on social media. We still got to put together all Adam's stories, all of all of the beverages you've had, all of the food you've had, and then just throw them in the Potomac. See how that goes. <laughs>